Okay, Pox, I've cut off the source of the Blisk's radiation, demolished the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance, and basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell do You do? I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for... What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Okay, keep your G-string on. There's gotta be a way to stop that launch. What? How did you know about my G-string? No, no, never mind! Once initiated, there's no way we can abort the launch. However, if we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target. Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs. Now go!
increase the intensity of those radar emissions. Perhaps if you cross the beams. Oh no, wait. That would be bad. I'm a little fuzzy on the whole good bad thing. Try to imagine all life as you know it's stopping instantaneously. And every molecule in your blood exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. Right. That's bad. We got it. No, no. There's no use for it. We're just going to have to take the risk. Do it, Credo. Cross the beams. Cross them for all your worth! You asked for it. Well, Cryptosporidium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Huron. Get this through your monkey brain, Mill and Cobb. We own that planet, and there's not a damn thing that you or your rusty pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder, would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? You two-bit tin horn petty tyrant! I fork bigger than you! You think just because you can keep a few depressed peasants in line, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? 
I'm the king of the world! The master of disaster! The baddest dude in the whole damn town! King Kong ain't got nothing on me! King Kong died, Cryptosporidium. I wonder, would you be so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan? Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? You guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess. You and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and Krabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. So the Krampies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You fool on so to death. But Earth... Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity to become a new Eden, a new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk! But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War, encouraged the buildup of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk worship crashes. 1917, act of revolution. To the mad! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens walk among us. Da? You're not suggesting. Suggesting? I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev. Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for... sure, only. Face it, Kryptosporidion. You Furans have been out scheme. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth. The loss of our spores is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans. No more fool of DNA! And there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. Lestrovia Cryptosporidium. Reality is back in 
Pods are a blight of my creation. They are way gnarly in my eyes. Destroy them at once! Tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Oculus loins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Give me the scoop on this virus. Uh, it's been a while since I had a flu shot. Super Retrovirus OMGWTF. It attacks the Blisk on a molecular level, causing spontaneous cellular combustion. Poof! No more Blisk. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. Triple signal system. No one believes me, but 
I am convinced that by using multiple comm towers, we can communicate with spacecraft three times faster. It makes perfect sense. And they say Soviet science is in fear.
One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Well, the plug on this mission, that's one. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car. All wrong. Thank <laughs> you. 